Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the super cute travel box pouch with a clear side panel. I love these little pouches. They are so great for travel essentials, electronics, and so much more. Now with all my tutorials, there is a blog post where you can grab the free PDF download. The PDF will have the front and back panel piece as well as the measurements for the side and zipper panel. Of course, if you're not already, I would love it if you subscribed, hit that notification bell to be alerted of new and future tutorials, and of course, smash the like button as the kids like to say. Okay, so let's get started. So for this tutorial, I will be using a 16 gauge vinyl as well as cork fabric. You can use vinyl fabric as well. Um, if you're looking for any of the links for any of these products, I will also have those over at the blog post. So you'll need a front and back panel, which is the PDF cutout that you're gonna go over and grab. And then you're going to need your bottom piece and then a nice long zipper and then two of the rectangles are for either side of the zipper. So the first thing we're going to do is install our zipper, create that zipper panel. So I'm gonna take one piece of the zipper panel piece and I will place that on top of the zipper. So make sure that the zipper pull is going towards the nice side of your fabric. And I'm going to line up the sides there and I'll sew right down. I did switch over to a zipper foot. So if you're new to zipper feet, I will have a link in the information icon where you can go over there and check out all about zipper feet. If you're new to zippers, definitely check that out so you can learn all about it and how it will make your life so much easier. So you're just gonna keep going all the way to the end of the fabric. And then after that, we're going to fold the fabric over and we're going to do a top stitch along the zipper. I usually like to bump my machine up to a three stitch length. I usually hang around a 2.5, but I like to do my top stitches with a three. So after that, then we are going to take the second zipper side piece and we will install that in the same way, making sure that the nice side of my cork is on top of the zipper. And we'll sew right down that edge, just the same way as well as flipping it and doing that top stitch. So you might be wondering why I have such a long zipper, mainly because I like to buy long zippers and then cut them to size, um, but it also gives you more room to work with when you have a larger zipper, so. But I have switched over to zipper by the yard lately, so. I'm just using these up because I got these over at the secondhand store, which is a really great place if you're looking to practice. Go over there, you can get them super cheap. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that bottom panel piece, and as you can see, my zipper panel piece is too big, and I made it bigger on purpose, so I'm just going to cut the zipper piece into the correct size. Um, so at this point, you can actually take your side measurements and change it. If you wanna have a deeper box pouch, you can actually just make these pieces wider. So right now I'm making it a two and a half inch deep box pouch. Um, the last one I made was two inches. So as long as all the measurements in the length is the same as well as those side panels that you cut out, you can make these pieces as wide as you would like them to be. But right now I'm just stick, gonna stick with a two and a half inch wide box pouch. I took a few little pieces of scraps and I'm just gonna fold those in half and I'm going to place those on top of the zipper. And I'm just going to place a clip here and then we're gonna attach the bottom panel to the zipper panel. If you wanna pre-sew those little tabs into place though before you do this step, you can do that. Um, but if not, we're just going to go ahead and attach that bottom panel on top with the right sides together and we will reclip that. And of course the bottom panel is going to be larger so it's going to sort of buckle like this, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead and do a quarter of an inch seam allowance along both of those sides. Now at this point I was having a little bit of difficulty with my needle. I was using just a regular, I think probably size 11 needle, but I did have to bump that up to a nice thick leather needle, maybe even a 14, 16, just to be able to get through those layers because there is about four layers of cork. So depending on your fabric, you might need to use a stronger needle just to get through these layers. But the rest of the bag was just fine with my regular needle. 
So then I'm just gonna flip that with the right sides out and I'm gonna do a top stitch right along there. It'll just help to make that tab more secure as well as just make it look a little bit more polished. So I did that to both sides and then I'm going to start to attach the side panels, which is going to be fun. <laughs> so here is the finished piece. Looks good, zipper works, everything's nice. I love it so far. I am just obsessed with these. So I'm just going to first, before I start putting on those front and back panels, is I'm going to find the center marks. So I'm just gonna snip little triangles into the center of the bottom of the pouch on both sides and then the center of the top of the pouch on both sides. And then after that, I'm gonna take those front and back panels and I'm also going to snip little triangles into the top and the bottom, making sure that's nice and centered. And then we will do that with the clear panel and then we can start to attach. So I'll take the little triangle that is at the bottom of the side panels and I will attach that or I'll line that up with the bottom of one of the front and back panels which is and then I'll just do that on the other side which is right centered with that zipper I didn't do the sides of the box pouch I just left that um, but you can get the idea I'm just gonna start to sew from one of those notches and then go all the way around just make sure that it is as centered as possible so that your bag doesn't turn out to be a little wonky so here I'm going to be doing another quarter of an inch seam allowance um, and then I'm just going to go very slowly it's not too difficult when you get down to the corner you're going to snip the side panels. So you're just going to take your scissors and snip it ever so slightly, not too much because you don't want to cut in so deep that you're going to interfere with your stitches because you want your stitches to be before those little notches. Um, but it's just going to help relieve some of the tension in the fabric so that it will go around that curve. So you just have to keep your needle in and then lift your presser foot and sometimes you need to adjust your fabric just so that you can make sure that the edges of the side panel are going on the edges of that front or back panel whichever one you're attaching so this is the same thing when you're going to do the clear panel as well so as you can see as long as you just take your time you know don't rush it and make sure everything is lined up good then you should not have too much difficulties and I'm gonna speed up and again when I get down to those corners I'll just snip as I go just a little bit just to relieve that tension and at the end I did have a, a very very slight puckering um, that is just all dependent on your seam allowances on that side panel so of course if you're making this make sure that this isn't you know your final attempt make sure that you practice on some scrap materials first and then you can just figure out your own seam allowances because everyone kind of you know does things a little bit differently so as you can see my seam allowance was just just a hair shy just ever so slightly um, but of course you're gonna see it a little more when you are using cork but I don't mind I think it still turned out perfectly and there's always gonna be a flaw in a project and that's okay because we are all human and not everything's gonna be perfect. So now we're gonna attach that clear panel. And before we're done, you know, doing that last panel, we're going to take our zipper and open it up all the way so that we can flip it when we are done. So when you do the plastic side, um, you might wanna switch over to a Teflon foot. I'm not having too many difficulties with using my regular foot, so um, I didn't, choose to switch over but if you are having some sticking um, and you know sometimes that happens you can definitely switch over to a Teflon foot um, because I have the cork underneath it's feeding through the machine better as if I was having two layers of the plastic vinyl so again I'm going to snip those corners to relieve that tension and then I'm just slowly working around those corners so hopefully you 
can see and understand and you know you you're confident you can try this this is my second attempt okay i definitely did not <laughs> i have not done this too many times so i'm pretty proud of myself for my second attempt so of course i don't have time to do um many many mock-ups for my tutorials but it works this worked i have the measurements it's good so after you're done putting that side panel on, then you're pretty much done. So that's the great thing about this vinyl is that you don't need to finish the edges. If you wanted to finish them, you could of course go get like a bias tape. If you wanted to make this out of fabric, then I would definitely recommend going and getting a bias tape so that you can finish off. I would love to make this in a fabric version that is lined. Um, of course I have made box pouches, which is basically what that is, but to have the clear panel on the side i'd have to really figure that out so for now we're going to work with a vinyl one which i think is super fun and i love it and especially the cork the cork is so easy to use i love it so much so now i'm just going to clip off all of my threads and then with that zipper sometimes it can be a little bit frayed so i'm just going to take a lighter and singe off the end of it just to prevent any further fraying and if there's any you know a little bit of vinyl sticking out you can just trim that nicely and then you can just flip it right side out eventually now <laughs> I love how the the cork is just so easy to work with that it's so easy to flip um, the box it it forms pretty well though I am pretty happy with the shape of it once you get everything in there though over time the box will have a better shape but um, but I'm super excited. We're going to California in a couple days, so I definitely plan on having these in my carry-on so that I can store my electronics and toiletries. So of course, um, if you make any of my projects, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. All those links are down below. I would love to see what you're working on, if it's this or anything else. We love all things sewing, so definitely come over there and you know join the community. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and all of your support and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!